What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here, bringing you guys part two of creating football kits for beginners, brought to you by designfootball.com and footballshirtculture.com. Um, now we're gonna be going ahead with our Manchester United kit here, um, and we're gonna be adding some patterns to it. So um, we have the front design open right now. Um, so this is where we're gonna be adding our pattern here in the background. Now, um, there's a few things you could do. You could leave it as a transparent background and go with the solid color, but we're gonna be adding a pattern. Um, so we're gonna come down and add a solid color here and click okay and just make it our red or whatever color we're using. Um, I find it's easier to do that so you don't have the wonky transparent grid below your designs because it's hard to see things like this logo um, and stuff like that. Um, so we're gonna be adding our pattern on top of this. I'm actually gonna delete these lines and delete this layer so everything we have here is visible. And there's a few things you can do. So if you're adding a design, you could say, um, add one from Google, like in a Adidas pattern like this. Um, and you add that the same way you would add a logo. Uh, ideally, you don't wanna steal from other people though. You wanna add your own original um, designs for the most part. Um, so you would wanna modify this or do something with it. Uh, but we have pattern packs over on Template FC. We actually have two free ones here that you can just freely add to your designs. Um, and we have a bunch of premium ones. Now these three are my personal packs from my concept kits. And then we have a bunch of like real life patterns. So we have classic kits um, and we have some recent football kit patterns as well as the new season of pattern packs coming out. And that will be split up into two parts as well. But we're gonna be using part two of the 2020, 2021 kits. So um, that's this pack here. Um, and you can see all the patterns are listed here. And basically when you download these, um, they will come in a pack, some something like this. Um, now this file is a modified version, so this wouldn't be here, but these four would be here. So the license information's there, and then you have the Photoshop pack and the Illustrator pack. Now you could use either of these, but um, we're not gonna be producing these um, in real life. There's no sublimination or anything. We're just making cool looking kits in Photoshop. So we're gonna be using the Photoshop pack, but we will be briefly going to Illustrator um, to show you something there, just in case you have it. Now this jerseys folder is just the display images. So you can see there's a bunch of PNGs that are um, kind of just showing what you can do with these patterns. You can add them and then you add your logos on top. Uh, and all these are in this PSD if you want to just use them. Um, but you can use the main PSD here. It's a lot easier because you have all the patterns there. Um, but the jersey section does have some more full color PSDs and stuff like that. Um, but what we're going to do is open up the PSD pack. Uh, and this will work the same if you have any other PSD packs uh, or you want to add stuff over from one file to another. So basically our packs come in, they're all kind of different. This one comes with a section of shapes and patterns and be sure to check the visibility layer here so you can see this stuff a little better. Basically the shapes section, um, these are all solid colors. So we can click our red, let's say, and it will change the color. And that's how all these work. Now the patterns part, um, these are more complex patterns that you actually have to put a little more effort into changing the color of um, and things like that. So there's a bunch of patterns here. This is one of my favorites here. Um, what else do we have? We have like a Newcastle third and a lot of really good patterns in this one. Um, I, I probably use this pack the most. Here is the Dazzle Man United camo. Let me flip the color so you can see it, which is pretty cool. Um, but we're going to be using the best patterns or the best pattern from this year of kits and that's the Ajax away. So we're going to select this and to add it to our design we just drag it over and be sure to keep holding onto your mouse and then release it over on the front. And there we go. Now I'm going to zoom out a bit, press command T and holding alt I'm just going to increase the size a little bit so it takes up a majority of our space. And there we go. Now I'm going to drag this down a little bit. Actually, we'll, we'll drag it up. And um, just to show you, I'm going to save this. This will look really bad because of the colors. But if we save this, we can go over and you can see how that looks. Which, I mean, it looks pretty cool. Um, the pattern at least. I mean, the colors right now aren't great. 
Okay, so we have our pattern and we can actually modify this in a few ways. So you'll notice it has a smart object similar to our smart objects over here. So if we double click this, it will open up in a new file, but it actually will open up in Illustrator. So you can only do this modification if you have Illustrator. Now, some of our patterns are a lot easier to modify in Illustrator and others a lot harder. This one happens to be a lot harder to modify, so we're not gonna do it, but I'm gonna kind of show you how this works. So um, if we come in here and zoom out, you can see we have our pattern. Um, for the most part, you wanna select everything and then ungroup it. So to do that, you wanna go um, select it all, um, right click and go to ungroup. And you'll probably have to do that a few times. So if I do that one more time, I should have individual blocks, yeah. Like you can see there um, and you might want to come in and like change the colors of them now this is like a gradient that's a little more complex so if you're experienced in illustrator you could probably modify this one but if you guys are beginners this will be a lot more difficult so we're going to stick to just modifying it in photoshop now some of our patterns have just solid blocks so you could just come in select double click on the color change it and then be good to go um, but you can see if we do that, it kind of ruins the pattern. So we're gonna just go ahead and quit Illustrator and modify it in Photoshop. Now, what I like to do is um, to make Photoshop run a little smoother, right click, rasterize this layer style, and we'll edit it like that. So the first thing I wanna do is since this is blue, I don't really want that as my color. I want it to blend in with the red. So I'm gonna press Command U on the keyboard to bring up my hue and saturation for this layer only. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna drag my saturation all the way down so this is just like black and gray or just two grays really, and I'm gonna click OK. And if we come to the blending options here, you can see this says normal. We can actually scroll through and see which ones kind of look good. Now there's a few that have stuck out in my mind. I really like the um, multiply. The color burn looks good. Um, I don't know about that. No, overlay could work but our red's a little too bright. It actually, eh, it's not too bad. Um, actually, we'll go with overlay. For the most part, overlay will work and is probably the best bet for most patterns. So we'll select that. Now, it only stands out on the right side. You can see the lighter side, it kind of blends in with the background, which if you don't want, you can go to image, levels, um, or adjustments and then levels for this layer again, and you'll get something like this and we can kind of darken and lighten up the pattern. So if we bring this right one in, it will actually darken up the dark spots. Um, and then if we bring in the left one, it will brighten up the bright spots. And then I think that looks a little bit better. Yeah, so I'm gonna drag it into when it gets to this peak and then we'll move this one back to its peak. There we go and we'll click okay. And if we zoom in, you can kind of see how the pattern is separate from the background color, which is nice. That's how I would like it. Um, of course, you could leave this on normal. And if you wanted it a different color, say you wanted the red background and you wanted maybe blue on top, uh, which wouldn't look good in this case. But if we double click, we can go to color overlay. Maybe we do a blue. Um, and then you can see we have a blend mode here. So we could set this to, I don't know, overlay. That might be a little, you know, that's a little wonky. Um, we could do multiply, uh, darken or lighten. Um, so you could play around with those options to get a different look that uh, makes that a different color from the background. Personally, I like it when it's blended in with the background more. So I'm gonna set it to overlay and leave it as is. Now, if you want it to pop a little more, you could press Command J or right click and duplicate layer, which is there. Command J is just a shortcut. And you can see it stands out even more with that duplicated version. Um, and you might wanna to come to the opacity and lower it. So if we click on the opacity name and just drag left, it will decrease for us. And we can find a spot we like. So maybe around 50%, we'll go about 48. And I think that's a pretty good pattern. And we can go ahead and save that and let's see what that looks like. So that looks pretty good. I, I really like that pattern. The IX pattern, it's hard to go wrong with. Um, let's come back to this. Um, and if you wanted to add some simple blocks of color, maybe a stripe going across the chest, the best way to do that is to come to the rectangle tool down here or just press U on the keyboard. Um, and you can use any of these shapes uh, if you wanted, but we wanna grab that and we'll make uh, like a black stripe across the chest. 
So we'll do that and double click the little icon over here to change the color and we'll make it black. Click OK, save it. And if you come back, you have your simple stripe. There you go. Now, uh, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it and save. And I'm going to close out of my patterns pack by clicking this little X. Don't save. And we want to add this pattern to some other elements of our jersey. So for one, uh, we might want it on the sides. It really depends. Sometimes you leave the sides like full color. By the way, to click and like drag around like this, you just have to hold the space bar and click. Um, I kind of like this as a solid color, but if we wanted to add it to the sides, we just simply need to double click the sides smart object, come to the front, grab your color fill and the patterns. And we're going to drag it over, but we want to make sure it's lined up. So I like to do it a few different ways. I like to create a new layer above everything. So I'm going to create a new layer and press command delete. And that will just fill the background color here, which is in our case is yellow. And then select all that and drag it over. And these layers are the same size. So we just have to make this fill or we have to make the yellow layer fill this whole document. And once we do that, it'll be perfectly aligned with the front design like that. And we can go ahead, delete the yellow in each of these, go to the sides and save that. <clears throat> and you can see it adds it to the sides and that should line up pretty well with the front design. Now we want to do a similar thing with the sleeves. So let's close that. And let's open the right sleeve and the left sleeve. So we're going to go back to this, but uh, it's going to be a little different because these aren't the same size. Obviously, the sleeves are a little smaller, uh, but let's select our patterns and our color fill again and drag them over. And you can see the sleeves are on their side. Let's drag this below the Adidas stripes. So we're going to have to zoom out a bit, press command T and rotate. Um, now hold shift to get the perfect 90 degrees. And then you might want to hold alt and decrease the size a bit so it's a little smaller. And personally, I don't really try to line up these patterns a lot of the times. You can just kind of put them wherever. And so if I do that and save it, I'm not really trying to line it up with the front anywhere. I just kind of want it to be its own thing. But I, I just make sure it looks all right. And I think that looks good. So we can take that, drag it over to the left sleeve and drag that below the Adidas stripes. We might want to press Command T, right click, flip horizontal so it's going the same way as the right sleeve and just align it wherever and press save, come back. And that's pretty good. That covers the sleeves and the whole jersey basically. And it's looking pretty good. Um, as you can see, we might, uh, we maybe should have made the pattern a little smaller on the sleeves, but I'm okay with it. Now, a lot of our patterns will look something like this. When you have a sleeve design like this, and that's because you add the trim to the sleeve layer. So a lot of our patterns, you'll have to come in and get a rectangle tool. And this is the right sleeve. So this is the bottom of the sleeve here on the left side. So you'd have to come in and create a little rectangle here to act as the sleeve trim at the end. So we would like make this say white and then you were to save that and come back. The bottom of the sleeve would be white and act as a trim. Now, since this mock-up is a little more comp uh, complicated, you can see that doesn't line up and look as well or look as good. So we don't do that for this mock-up. The trim is on its own layer. So we'll delete that and save it back. Um, and you can come to the trim layers and add your own trim individually. That lines up a lot better. So let's delete or let's close out of these sleeves and come to the right and left trim. Now you can see there's two right trims, but they're the same smart object. So if you modify one, it'll modify the other. So you don't have to open them both. You can just double click and then double click the left one. And you can see we just have our sleeve trim pattern here and we can come in and modify these colors. Um, maybe we reverse it and go black and then put the white on top. And you'll notice this also has a layer style, um, which again, we'll talk about later on, uh, just to give it a different texture from the rest of the jersey. So it stands out a bit more as trim. So let's save that, come back. And you can see we have our slim or our trim design there. Let's do it to the other one. Our 
very good. And we can do the same thing then to our collar. And you could also uh, add patterns to these as well if you don't want to do the simple striping that I'm doing. Um, so in this case, we'll make this white and the rest of it is transparent because we can just change the color, the collar color um, in our color folder. So if we come here, make this black, you can start to see that stripe. So let's go in and make this white, save it, cool. And we got to do the collar back then, and we should be good. Let's close out of those. And that's basically how you add designs. Now, I know I covered adding logos in the previous section, but I didn't cover adding sleeve logos because they are a little different. So uh, again, this mockup is different from a lot of other mockups, but it basically works in the same way. Um, so you notice the sleeves are horizontal rather than vertical. So if you were to add a logo, let me go ahead and grab the Premier League logo. And we would be using this badge here. Let's go ahead and drag this in. Press Command T and decrease the size. And we're going to have to do that thing we did before. Um, select the background. Go to select, modify, expand, one, delete. And let's get rid of this little watermark up at the top right as well. And we have our Premier League logo. And we want to press Command T, rotate it 90 degrees this way, line it up with about where the logo would be. So these Adidas stripes are good markings. Um, and this would be a little smaller and about here. And you'll notice some of it gets cut off, but that's perfectly fine because the whole logo wouldn't be visible from this view. So we'll save that and see how that looks. And that looks pretty good. And then we could do the same thing to the left sleeve with like a sponsor or something. Um, and if you feel like this is too far inwards, you could always come back, move it up. And maybe that's a better spot for you. Um, but it's kind of trial and error for sleeve logos. It all depends. Uh, but something like that, yeah, that should be fine. And we should be good to go. And that's it for this part. Now, in the next video, we're actually going to be designing our own uh, pattern and like design, creating our own design from scratch, essentially. So we're not going to be using a patterns pack, although I'll show you how to modify some patterns from patterns packs. Um, so we'll get a little more creative in the next one, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Be sure to check out Template FC. Whenever you finish your designs, by the way, be sure to go to designfootball.com and upload them for the community to see. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.